guys welcome back to my channel I'm really sorry but as always I'm in the car and battling with the Sun so if I look like I'm just an luminous light bulb on this side of my head I apologize but the Sun is not playing ball and when I put my sunglasses on like I'd like to the camera doesn't like it okay so it is Sunday today and um, me and Andy are just taking the doggies out for a little stroll. We're actually, well, it's not really a proper walk walk for them. We're not doing their usual and taking them to the woods and the lake. We're going to um, a park not too far from us where we know there's going to be lots of doggies but mainly lots of doggies on leads and more of a, is it, this is a therapy walk, isn't it, for Bolly? Rehab. Rehab for Bolly. Um, because after anyone that regularly watches a couple of vlogs ago, I did speak about when Bolly, unfortunately, was attacked by a couple of dogs. And as much as we thought, we were hoping he would be absolutely fine, he's having a bit of a wobble, isn't he? <laughs> Let's say, with other dogs. And I think he could do with a bit of a confidence boost. Um, Andrew took him to the groomers on Friday, took them both to the groomers and was it you had to go back to the car to fetch Desi? Yeah, so you'd, he'd brought Bolly into the groomer, gone to get Desi and obviously in the groomers there's dogs in there, I mean they're all, you know, they're tied up, being groomed or whatever but Bolly was pretty He doesn't worried. bark or anything, he just was... He was very scared. Very scared. Yeah. Getting so, under my legs. Yeah, which, you know, Bolly, with other dogs, Bolly's never been, don't get me wrong, if we're on a walk, Bolly's not the kind of dog, he's not Desi. Desi would go up to every single dog she sees if she could and say hello, wouldn't she? <laughs> she is so sociable like that. Bolly's quite happy to walk past and not bat an eyelid at a dog. He's not that, he's just not really that bothered, is he? Whereas Desi wants to be everyone's friend. But he's never been quite so worried like this and he was just very worried to be in close proximity with other dogs, with, with Desi not there. and. We don't want him to continue down this path because um, that would just be quite sad. We don't want him to live in a world where he's scared, basically. So we're going to take him to this park today. So he's got all of us with him. He's got Desi, he's got me, he's got Andy. We are literally going to just grab a coffee and just be in the park with him. We're not going to walk and walk past dogs where he's having like a quick interaction and then they're gone. We just kind of want him to be, don't we? And just watch other dogs get his confidence a little bit and realize that no dogs are gonna come up to him if he doesn't want them to and he can he can just be comfortable around dogs so yeah basically we're on a bit of a therapy walk a rehab walk with mr Bowl today <laughs> so a bit of a different sunday and then we're going to get back and it's a bit of a sunday at home today isn't it we've got our own jobs that we want to do um we're going to try and get out and sort the garden out a little bit now that we finally are having a weekend where there's no rain and we're both at home. Uh, I want to have a little bit of a spring clean and sort out because next week, I'm not sure if that will be in this vlog, probably in the next vlog, I'm having a huge wardrobe kind of declutter. I'm putting away my winter clothes, getting out all of my spring summer stuff. Um, and having a bit of a rejig and a reorganise, so I'm going to show you guys that as well. Probably in the next vlog that will be. Um, but yeah, I did have to laugh though. In the last vlog when I was with Grace, we were talking about kind of unhinged, unusual crushes that you might have had when you were younger. And we were obviously talking about Disney characters and oh my gosh. When I say I was laughing so much at some of the responses, because I asked you guys to comment your like weird crushes that you might have had because i was talking about mine i was saying robin hood but as the fox was one of mine slightly strange but a lot of you that's could relate weird. you think that's weird the fox it's a fox i know that's why it's unhinged but <laughs> oh god his personality yeah. it's not even what he looks like no it was what he look, looks <laughs> oh like yeah <laughs> It's like you think Dory is a fish. Dory could be a fit. Yeah, you could be so attracted to her personality that you just like her. Who would yours be? Oh no, you've put me on the spot. <laughs> well, you said that Robin Hood was strange. I feel like every boy kind of liked Jasmine. Yeah, Jasmine, in Aladdin. Little Mermaid. Can we talk, can we just mention though, that Jasmine did really give a lot of girls a complex because her waist size 
was literally smaller than her arm. <laughs> like, that was giving little girls complexes everywhere, I'm sure. But can I read out a couple of what people thought on him and see if you would actually agree? Because I could kind of see where some people were coming from with theirs, but not everyone. Go on. So someone here said the beast from Beauty and the Beast, but when he's the beast, not when he's a human. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't, you, don't think, you don't think that's strange, but Robin Hood is strange. Well, Robin Hood's a little fox. The beast is an absolute beast of a lion man, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's just hyper-masculine and rough and grr. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I can see that. This one I thought was a little bit unhinged. Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc. No, that is wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got to say, I, I, I'm not quite on board with Mike Wazowski. I'm a bit unsure about that one. Yeah. Someone did agree with my John Smith. I think Pocahontas. Sully more than Mike. Do you know what? Yeah, Sully. Well, if you like the Beast, do you like my like Sully? Yeah, you might be more of a Sully kind of girl. Yeah, I can actually see Sully because he's like a big snuggly bear, isn't he? And he's, he'd protect you. Because he's, yeah, he's very similar to the Beast. That's a good shout actually, Sully. Yeah, I also said Woody from Toy Story was one of mine. Uh, one person did say Flynn Rider as well from Tangled, which I definitely agree with. I don't know who that is. You've not watched Tangled, have you? No. That's a shame. But yeah, I was really, honestly, I was laughing so much at your guys' responses, so. There we go, but anyway, Bolly, are you ready for a little bit of rehab? Yes, are you ready? They've both had their lovely grooms ready to show off in the park, aren't you? Strutting round, they've had fresh grooms, new collars. Wow, we are you excited? Let's go. Good boy. Well done, Molly. So we've arrived to the park with Mr. Ball. We've gone past a few dogs. He's been really good, actually. I think it's a good place to bring him here because there's a lot of dogs on leads that are really unbothered. They're not running up to him like we would find on a walk. It's not as intense of an environment, is it? No. Um, so no, he's doing very well on his first rehab walk, aren't you, darling? I'm gonna go and grab a little coffee in a minute. Oh, quick pee pee, yep. <laughs> grab a little coffee in a minute and we'll find a nice bench somewhere and have a sit. Aren't we, puppers? Sit. Mm -hmm. sweeties. Good. Good. <laughs> Puppies. You moved now. He ain't gonna do it again. The sun has come out, so we've just gone to Cafe Nero to grab a little coffee. And we've got the puppies. Daisy, you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself, Bobblehead? Mr. Ball, you're enjoying it, aren't you? You're liking it? Yes, you're liking it as well. Having a little sit and people watch, aren't we, darling? Yes, good ball. Right, back home, Bolly was a very good boy for his rehab walk. I'm glad I tied my hair up today because the wind, it, we're having like over 40 mile per hour wind at the minute and whoo, I'm so glad <laughs> I didn't bother doing my hair this morning. Um, but no, Bolly, you were a very good boy, weren't you? Yes, my bestest boy, my bestest boy. He was honestly absolutely fine. It was like nothing had happened. I think it's just gonna have to be one of those things where we just kind of, we're just mindful of it and not, perhaps just not take it for granted and think, oh, he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, the reason we wanted to take him where we did today is because on the walks where the dogs usually go, um, we obviously, they're always off the lead. We take them, we've got a lake near us. We've got um, a few kind of woodland areas that we take them. Um, they're usually, as I said, they're always off lead in there. Um, but sometimes a lot of like the dogs that we come across in there perhaps are off lead and shouldn't be off lead. I know that sounds really bad to say. Well, no, it's not bad to say. You know, I'm of the kind of belief if you decide to let your dog off the lead, you do it because you're confident that you have control of them and can get them back. We do come across a lot of dogs that are not that way. I know if I call Bolly when he's off the lead, he will come straight back to me and I can pop him on the lead. Um, now, usually what, you know, if you come across another dog on a lead, you kind of would just assume, oh, that dog is fine. And um, what I don't want to happen is for a dog to be off the lead that, you know, as I said, probably shouldn't be off the lead. The owner can't control them. And they kind of just 
ambush Bolly a little bit and he finds it a bit overwhelming, panics. That's the kind of situation I don't want to put him in because that's what I think would really make him nervous. Um, as I said, when, when he was in the groom, it was just really, really unlike him to be... He was really scared to be on his own among in a room with other dogs like that. I don't know, it was just very strange, very unusual for him to be like that. So yeah, we're just going to kind of be mindful of him. Um, but yeah, where we took him today, the reason I took him there is because it's just a bit more of a controlled area. Most dogs are on a lead, the ones that are off a lead, because it is such a busy area, they are very well trained. We sat, um, we, we got a coffee, sat outside so the dogs could just sit and he could kind of just, you know, watch the world go by and, you know, no one was, no dogs or anything are going to approach him and, yeah, and he, as I said, he was fine, he was, he was his normal old self, so it's just something we're going to have to keep an eye on with him. Ooh, the sun has just come out, I'll just quickly change the battery in the camera, then I've come down and, woo, the sun is now blaring in. Um, I've also had a delivery from Bloom and Wild. I don't know if I've ever, have I told you? I'm sure I've told you about Bloom and Wild before. Not an ad, not a sponsor. I'm a genuine paying customer. We have the monthly subscription so that we get like a nice seasonal bloom every month. But yeah, it's also, do you know, it's one of those things as well. Even though we obviously pay for the subscription, I forget about it. And I'm not joking, every single month it's like a nice surprise. It's like a, here's a little treat to me, from me, but it's lovely. I really love receiving them. As I said, always take them by surprise. I love seeing what I get sent, um, but yeah, it's nice. So this month we've got uh, the Nina, they've called it. So this is what we're getting. So everything arrives in bud like this, and then obviously you pop everything in water, and this is what we end up with. And I just love it because I, admittedly, I'm not green-fingered in the slightest. I don't know anything about flowers, gardening. Um, so I actually really like having my subscription because um, it also gives you a little bit of information about everything. It tells you, what, like, honestly, unless it's a really, really common flower like a daffodil, a tulip, a rose, I haven't got a scooby usually what half of these flowers are i just don't know so it's really nice that when they send you things you get this and it actually tells you what everything is it tells you how to look after things so i know it sounds like <laughs> it's almost like gardening for dummies but that's what i need so it just spoon feeds me the information and i like it because i actually do learn things as well when i get my subscription so there we go like i really love the fact that they have sent me some lovely tulips and they actually have the bulb on the bottom of them so I believe I can go and plant this in my garden and get a tulip can I do that help I don't know but I've got a bulb but anyway I'm gonna pop these into a vase oh sorry Desi I didn't know you were down there got my lovely vase I'm gonna pop those in there uh, also speaking of flowers I had a little delivery from the brand Wildflower. I mentioned these um, a few vlogs ago because I bought uh, Leonora one of the candles for um, as like a thank you for when I went down to her house. And um, really randomly, um, the brand Wildflower, I've been buying this brand ever since we moved into this house and I discovered them at um, Doddington's, which is like our local kind of like a farm shop and they have like a home interior section anyway they sell sort of garden centery things but they're not a garden center um ever since we moved and i discovered wildflower i've been buying their candles as i said since that um but yeah i mentioned them in that video and they just happened to get in touch with me which was so lovely of them so like when you get their candles they come in one of these so lovely um, and they actually asked um, which candles I would like to try. So I went for a couple that I've never had before. And so this is the one I went for, the Botanical Escape, it's called. And I just, I love the design on them as well. They just look so lovely. Um, and actually, I had the lovely girl that actually designs the illustration on these. She actually got in touch with me on Instagram and said, oh my God, that's my illustration because she spotted it in another vlog. Um, so yeah, small world. 
Well, it is if you're on the internet, isn't it? Oh, that is lovely. Where is that going to go? Oh, that is nice. That's very fresh. I feel like that is a kitchen candle. You know me, I have to delegate a candle. I have to know which room my candle's gonna go in. That's a kitchen candle. I'm gonna pop that on the island. And then this one, I thought this would be quite nice. Midsummer Nights. This one comes in a lovely little box. I mean, look at the design on them. They're so lovely, really nice little presents. I think because just a bit different to the usual brands that you see. Oh, so this is the Midsummer Nights candle. How lovely. Oh, that's a lot more. So that's very fresh and almost not soapy. That's the wrong word. But you know that fresh, hand, almost hand wash kind of smell it could be. That's very kitchen clean. Smells very clean is the only way to describe it. This is a lot more rich. This is a living room candle, I've decided. This one, Midsummer Nights, it's going in the living room. Perfect. So, now my candles have got a little home. Let's pop these flowers in a vase and nobody's gonna judge me for my terrible flower arranging <laughs> because I'm doing my best. Andrew has mowed the lawn and got it looking good again. So our old pal, Mo Farah, if you remember him from last year, he's back on shift, guys. He's back on duty, keeping that lawn nice and short now. But yeah, Andy needed to give him a little bit of a helping hand to start his shift for the year, but he's off. You go, Mo Farah, you go, Mo. Desi's so funny. While the boys are playing outside with the ball, Desi actually requested to come inside. I know she's now standing by the door. But if I come over here, <laughs> you can follow me. Hey, you don't want to go outside with the smelly boys? No, we're going to have a cuddle, aren't we? Yeah, you do want to go outside with the smelly boys? No, we're going to stay in with the girlies, aren't we? Yes. guys I had the blazing sunshine this morning when I was um, getting ready sorry I can't get comfortable on my chair um, but yeah anyway I have now got ready the Sun has now gone behind some clouds typical um, it's another hair up kind of day today the wind we're having at the moment it's like 40 mile an hour wind so I thought what is the point in doing my hair there just is no point um, so yeah hair up today um i wanted to show you a new lip combo that i've been loving because a few of you asked in my my spring capsule wardrobe video that i uploaded um a couple of uploads ago what my lip combo was now it's not the best lighting to show you in here but if i just scooch on in this is the lip combo that i have been really really loving recently um both products are from hourglass lip liner is Hourglass in the shade Uncover. It's this one. It's like a really gorgeous nudey brown colour. And then the lipstick, it's kind of like that peachy brown nude. It's so lovely for spring, summer though, I think. If you're someone like me and you don't like something that is too pink, I don't mind some pinks, but if it's too pink, pink, I don't know. I just, 
I just don't like it on me. I do prefer a slightly brown undertone. So this kind of peachy brown colour is gorgeous. Again, from Hourglass in the shade Peony. This is what it looks like. But it's just really lovely. I'm really enjoying it. And I love how these are like wear as well. They last a long time. I feel like they are drink food proof when you're eating. I don't feel the need to top up constantly, which is nice. And these are magnetic. They all stick together in my little makeup drawer. So anyway, that is me already for today. So today, what am I actually doing? I am actually heading with um, Taylor to Meadow Hall. So uh, Meadow Hall is basically shopping centre in Sheffield for those of you guys that don't know or anyone that doesn't live in the UK that watches my channel. So I'm heading there and having a little bit of a shopping, almost like a come shopping with me kind of vlog to see what is new in the shops. But specifically, I am heading somewhere which maybe might surprise you, but I am just really intrigued. So I've been seeing a lot online about M&S clothing and I don't know what it is and this is no disrespect to m and I'm a big fan of m and particularly m and food but I've always associated m and with let's just say a more mature demographic if I'm looking for a lovely Christmas birthday present a new jumper let's say for my nan then that would be my my go-to you know and that has been i'd say the stereotype that i've probably put on mns and probably that they would admit themselves is their demographic just a more mature audience however i have recently noticed <laughs> am i getting older or is the mns demographic getting younger <laughs> maybe there's a slight overlap there but no 100 percent, i've noticed they're they've got some good things right on their website and i've been seeing a few tiktok videos i've been seeing a few videos online of people buying things and then they've been from m s so i was like Do you know what i need to go and have a look at this for myself now admittedly i will say my closest m s like m s clothing um it's not the best m s it's not the biggest so hence i'm having a little trip to meadow hall um with taylor we'll probably end up going in, into other shops but I just thought, you know what, I actually want to have a look around myself and just see what they're doing. So that is the plan, guys. I'm going to bring you with me, have a little spring, come shopping with me. Um, the hair is up, the hair means business. I'm having no hair sticking to my face. We're going in, we're meaning business. So I'm going to quickly pop an outfit on and then I shall be heading off. I do have like bits to unbox with you, but maybe I'll save that for later when I'm back. Yeah, so we're going to go to Meadow Hall. I am riding later this afternoon, hopefully, when this wind dies down, because I don't fancy riding her in this horrible wind, because it'll just send her doolally. I'm hoping yeah, it dies down. And then we'll have a little unboxing session later. Okay, quick outfit check before I go. I'm basically wearing, if you watched my video where I went shooting with Taylor, some spring outfits, I'm basically wearing one of those outfits, full navy look, navy jumper from And Other Stories, my navy blazer, this, I think I got this last year um, from Zara, but Abercrombie have one exactly the same, my Hannah jeans, honestly one of my favourite pairs of jeans, only from New Look, and I have my ballet flats, these are my slingback ones, I love a slingback, Slingback ballet flats from New Look, and then I have my Fendi peekaboo bag. So, yeah, this is me ready to go shopping. Morning flower check. My tulips are starting to open up. How lovely! And these are starting to open up as well. Oh, so pretty. We've just got to MS, and um, literally, as soon as I've walked in, I'm like, oh my god, there's two piece. That honestly looks like it could be from Reese or something, doesn't it? Like with a cinched in waist on the top there. That is just gorgeous, really. They've also got it in denim here, which I really like. It's giving Sophia Ritchie vibes, I think. The sandals are really June as well. Yeah, they're kind of a bit of a Hermes June, aren't they? A little bit Hermesy. 
But yeah, so far I'm definitely getting Sophia Ritchie vibes. One thing we were just speaking about is the price is really good, £29.50 for the top, so really good price. I'm really liking that. I think that with a nice sleek bun, some tan sandals would be really gorgeous. Literally Taylor just picked this up and was like, I'm obsessed and I have to say, so am I. We both like a bit of brodery, don't we? Yeah, and you can oh. swap out the belt. Yeah, I it's would. Got the belt loop. I would take that belt off and add a little tan belt, tan sandals, and that would just be perfect. How much is that? £59. That's not bad for a really nice dress. It's double lined as well, which is really good. So if you didn't want to go braless, you could, you'd be safe. They were in different lengths as well. They do petite, regular, and I'm assuming they'll do tall. That's good, really good. I like this as well. They've got um, a dress version of the two-piece that I really liked. Really, really love that. Look at this cardigan with the gold buttons. Only £35. That is really good. I love the buttons as well. They actually look like more expensive. They don't just look like they don't just look like shoddy, shiny buttons that have just been sewn on. I love the brushed gold. That is just gorgeous. Really nice. And that trench is nice. I would prefer a belt with it. Oh, there is a belt. Sorry. Excuse me. There is a belt. But I really, really love that. I think that is just beautiful. White linen trousers as well. Oh god, yeah, crop version over here as well. White linen trousers, I'm loving. Little cropped trench as well. Gorgeous. Just spotted this gorgeous navy blue bomber jacket. And also this one. Annoyingly, I really like this one, but they don't have my size in it. The smallest size I have is a 12. But I think that is so, so lovely. How much are they wanting that? £59. That would look quite nice with my outfit that I'm wearing today. Oh my god, Taylor so <laughs> elegantly modelling. That is so good. That's literally like such a classic like piece for the wardrobe, isn't it? Yeah. They've got it in black as well, just up here spotted. They've both um, got the contrast. <clears throat> yeah, really nice. I love the fact they've got a zip on the inside. It's not just a tote bag. That is really good. How much is that? £39.50. That's really, really good, isn't it? Throw your laptop in there, all your work stuff. Oh my God, look at this. This black, almost like tweed style cardigan jacket. Again, with these buttons. It's the buttons that really make this. What price are we talking? It's 75 pound, higher price point, but it's got really good um, double lining in there as well. That is just gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of mine from Forever New that I got. That is lovely. Do you know what they've really nailed? If you were to bring like your mum or your nan like shopping, they've got something for everyone, haven't they? They do still have the kind of core M&S range that I feel like M&S were originally known for. But oh my God, their stuff is just so good. I'm not sure the feather duster is part of the vibe, but <laughs> <laughs> how good is that little bag for in the summer? I, I reckon they'll have a tan version somewhere. They do. Do they? Yeah, see? Yeah, oh, right. that is just really, really good. Also spotted around here, this pink linen blazer, which, oh my God, imagine if you had like a wedding guest or christening, that would be perfect. I did say they're missing a trick by not having the matching pink shorts. They do have pink trousers, but you know me, I love a blazer and shorts, like suit kind of vibe. Very pretty woman-esque, but I'm loving, loving this. The shoulder pads in it as well feel really good it doesn't feel like wilted lettuce which is always a good sign if there's one thing i love in the spring summer it's a high rise mom short these just look like the perfect length these especially the cutoffs pack of two 15 pound how good is that two skinny belts capsule wardrobe sorted i like this tan belt as well that's really nice Popping on your white shorts in spring summer. These are literally almost identical to my Zara slingback pointed ballet flats. Very on trend. Very cool in this. They are forty-five pounds. Like them. They also do them in pink. Got some loafers down here. Cream. Also in pink. Also in black. I knew they'd have some good kitten heels in here. They also do a kit and heel of the shoe that I just showed you, which so good for work. Oh my god, literally matching your nails so perfectly. 
I quite like the selvy, you know. A little bit of a metallic one. They look nice poking out some nice denim jeans. They actually look quite nice on my wearing today. You know, just poking out the bottom. They look quite cool. These look like something you'd find on mango. Don't they? Like such mango vibes. Love the little kitten heel. Oh, I love these. I was saying to Taylor how I'm so obsessed with slingbacks and they've got slingback slippers. Kind of need them, how cute are they? Little sli slingback slip slips. How much are they? 25. 25? That's not bad at all, is it? Are you actually going to get them? Well, not from the shop because we might put their feet in them. <laughs> <laughs> these are identical to my nude wedges that I got last year and these are a fraction of the price at £55. They're gorgeous. So good for the spring summer. Oh my god, how cute! How much is that? Only £35. That is so cute. I've got a shoulder version over there. That is so lovely. The only thing I don't like is the strap. I wish it was a bit more of a formal. It's a bit too casual, isn't it? I feel like the strap doesn't quite go with the bag. If that was just a leather, tan leather strap. That might be coming home in me. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of this, unfortunately. Do you know what I've noticed in here as well? That is a really nice change. It's so tidy. You know sometimes you go to other, we won't name and shame, but we go to other high street shops. Stuff and it's, it looks like it's been ran, ransacked. Yeah. Whereas here, everything is just perfect, immaculate. Good shopping experience. Look at these snazzy pyjamas. I'm sorry, but I love them. Oh my God, with the oranges on. Them. I, I think love they're them. really I snazzy. Really them. I'm, I'm going to stop using the word snazzy though because. <laughs> <laughs> trendy. Oh, trendy and snazzy. Only £35 for this quilted short coat. I think that is really good. I've got it in khaki, navy, black, and they also do it in this camel colour as well. Another bomber jacket there. Love these coloured knit jumpers these are very like massimo duty vibes love the stripes they also do it in white as well oh and they're doing green oh this is very cute i like the texture of that that is very that is uh, with the black rim that's kind of giving massimo duty vibes oh my god that is literally like massimo duty love that i think i prefer the dark version only 25. only 25. Yeah. I'm sorry, but how lovely are these bags? Obviously, I know red is a trending colour at the minute, but of course I'm drawn to the neutrals. That, that, that is something like mango. I feel like you'd find that on mango or Zara. I'm Only £39.50. That is so cute. The springs, that looks so much more expensive than £39. If you stuck a Lueve logo on that, you'd be selling it for £300, let's be honest. That is so nice. I also quite like this tote bag. This would make a really nice, like, sort of beach bag. Throw in your bikini, your towel in there, heading down to the beach. Oh, they've got it in black. I have to say, I prefer it in the nudies, so. the tan and nude. But that is just so good. That is so good. I think you could probably find that designer somewhere I really love for that. like 10 times the price. Taylor was just saying, oh my god, I need this bag. I have nothing, I have nothing, like, like, I have nothing this. like this. As she's carrying around this bag. <laughs> no one's seen, no one's seen. You need this bag. <laughs> Gorgeous bag. Definitely a bit of a dupey dupe, isn't yeah. it? For the Lueve, but only £45. I will try to find a picture of the Lueve version and pop it on screen next to this. But yeah, they've really, really nailed it. I still can't stop thinking about that other bag though. Sleeveless linen dress for the spring. Again, I'd take off the belt. I think a nice black belt, black sandals would look really nice with that. These linen trousers are such a staple if you're going on holiday. I love the nudie ones. They've got them in black, navy and white as well. But for throwing on over a bikini, walking down to the beach, so good. Just found almost a bit of a Fendi peekaboo dupe, but in tan. And do you know what's funny? I, I would love a tan version of this. I probably won't ever buy one, but oh my God, they've got it in black. There we go, look, a bit of a Fendi peekaboo dupe. Quite like the tan. How funny. Just found this little 
bag, which is gorgeous. What colour would you say this was? It's like a dark, really dark chocolate brown, isn't it? Yeah. I love the shape of it. That's just so good. How much is this? £79. Responsibly sourced. Oh, it's genuine leather. Responsibly sourced. There we go. Look at these. Bottega earring dupes. I'm also wearing a pair of Bottega earring dupes from Amazon, but these are you. And you have as well. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> All matching, but yeah, they've got these MS 14 pound. Really good. Love these chunky double hoops. They're very, very new. How much are they? Ten pound. It looks very like baby pink on camera, but this is quite a neon pink but I do like a linen shirt like this in the summer. I love this black one shouldered top. That's kind of giving Cos Massimo Duty mango vibes. I'd wear that with some black linen shorts, tan accessories, that bag that we liked. That would look really good. This literally looks like the set that I got from Nobody's Child if you watch my last video. The waistcoat, matching trousers. I don't think those are the trousers. Oh, these are the trousers. Oh, yeah. Really good. Tyler just had to shove a hand up this poor lady's skirt to check it was light. Sorry, darling. <laughs> Sorry, darling. We just need to check it. your skirt is light. It is. Good for you. I really like that. That's the white uh, maxi skirt as well. It's really on trend at the minute. You can see where your hand was. <laughs> Bomber, this is so nice. I know Cos did one which was identical to this, but double the price. I think, I I think that's so nice. That's really, really nice. nice. Really nice. Ooh. Ooh. I don't even have a mirror, but I can feel it. It feels nice. It is black, isn't it? And not nice. Yeah, no, it's, it's black. black. It's black. Oh, I love that. I'm going to have to find a mirror and uh, have a look at myself. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think it's absolutely lovely. Yeah. It feels very me. I'm actually obsessed. Are you? I'm completely obsessed. The length is perfect. The waist. Even with your hair like that. Yeah, I like it with bun. Yeah. I'm not even with your hair like that. Obviously, your hair looks lovely. <laughs> but I just mean in that style. Yeah, I dig, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it looks lovely. It's just so elegant. Really lovely. I'm having this. Honestly, it's so I'm, nice. I think I'm going to order it for the denim one as well. It's gorgeous. I'm so excited. <laughs> really like this. Being on holiday. I don't know if I'd wear it with the trousers, but it looked better with the trousers than with the jeans that I had. I like that. I'll probably just get it taken in half an inch. If I was being really picky. But for the price, actually. No, I think it's um, really, really nice. It's really nice, isn't it? And it even looks nice with your hair like even that. With my, <laughs> even with my hair. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> This is the dress on. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the embroidery detail. I love the fact that it's lined. I love the collar. I would swap out the belt and add my own. Only, I love the length of it as well. The only thing I don't like are the sleeves. I am not a kind of puffed sleeve kind of girl. I feel like it just looks a bit too girly on me, which is a shame. I'd almost prefer it if it was sleeveless. Um, I feel like that would suit me more because the actual shape and vibe, you can see the back of it as well. I love the shape. It's just that sleeve. If I could cut the sleeve off, it'd be perfect. Okay, we've stumbled into the home section. I have actually made my purchases, but then I realised they did home stuff and I'm honestly obsessed. Look at these serving bowls. Imagine your barbecue, pop in your salad in here. They've got flour and this is very me guys, I've got a cabbage. I just think that is so adorable. Putting your barbecue salads in there, you've got your friends round. Just so, so lovely. I'm very, very tempted by those. But everything else, I mean, look how cute these are. Spring tableware, honestly adorable. How sweet. 
There's this little picnic basket, a couple of holders for your wine. I mean, all of the essentials, a few sandwiches, two bottles of wine. That's a pretty good picnic to me. everything that I bought. Um, I ended up getting this bag. Oh, sorry, that's in the way. I ended up getting this bag because I just thought, I honestly just thought it looked so much more expensive than it actually was. This will be a great bag for in the summer for taking away with me. I, of course, got the uh, two-piece set, this one. I think I'm also going to get the denim one. You will have seen it at the beginning of kind of like the shopping segment. It was right next to this. They didn't even have my size to try on, annoyingly. Um, but I think I'm gonna order it online because it's the exact same fit as this and I'm obsessed with the fit. So I'm gonna order the denim version as well. It's so good. And um, I didn't get the white dress because I just didn't like the sleeves on it on me, but it was stunning, like so, so good. Um, and then I also got the one shoulder black top that you guys again will have seen me try on because I think that'll be so nice for holidays so that was um I also bought a multi-pack of uh, underwear as well for riding because they had a really good range of like seamless underwear um, and when I'm wearing my tight like riding jumpers I don't want to see knicker lines so <laughs> did get a multi-pack of those but I don't need to show you my knickers so that's what we got and then in the home section I wasn't even going to look in the home section but I did have a couple of cheeky little purchases because I couldn't help myself I just got a lovely um, linen table runner obviously <laughs> for the dining table just for the spring summer to have out um, because at the moment embarrassingly I actually still have my Christmas one it doesn't look too Christmassy but it just has a bit of gold glitter in there it's giving slight Christmas vibes so I thought this was a little bit more spring summery and then I did pick up two of the plates not plates bowls that I showed you the sort of, oh bless you Desi you have a little sneeze down there the kind of serving bowls the lettuce or cabbage I think this is lettuce lettuce leaves i just thought these were so lovely you know for in the summer from i can start having barbecues although that feels like a long way away currently looking at the weather which has gone very gloomy again so yeah i did get two of these these were 17 pound 50 each which i actually thought was really good because i've seen them for double that price in other places but oh, i can't wait to have people around for dinner and i can make a nice salad and pop in my new salad bowls um, so yeah, that was all I got from the home section. So I would say that is a success. I was so impressed with M&S. They had some really great pieces. Really giving like, I'd say mass, if you are a fan of shopping in uh, Cos, Massimo Duty, Arquette, and you want those really gorgeous, sort of staple wardrobe um, pieces, if you're going on a holiday this year, um, or if you just want some nice things to wear for the summer, if we get a summer at this rate, um, M&S, I think, a really good place to have a look. I was really, really impressed. I also like, they had a really great range of linen, just tie waist um, trousers. You know, the sort you just throw on over a bikini when you're on holiday. And the best thing that I really liked about it is they were available in different lengths. So you could get um, like short, regular, tall, um, so yeah, they were just catering for everyone, which was really, really good. Um, but anyway, now I'm home, I'm actually about to go to the yard and go riding. I'm just going out with my friend Grace, who you, who you will have seen in the last vlog. We're just going to go and take the horses out for a little hack. And yeah, I, I have got some other, a couple of other little things to unbox with you, but maybe I'll save those when I'm back because I want to try and beat the light and get out, hopefully, before it starts raining.
Do you realise how happy it makes me that the time is 20 past seven. I have finished work for the day. I have been riding. I've finished riding and it's still light. I'm so glad that summer is on the way. I just love the light evenings. It's just so nice not having to do everything in the dark. Oh, I love it.